I testified before Congress last month or whenever it was um, about the importance of, or I guess really urging the Biden administration to halt with their illegal administrative rewrite of Title IX. Uh, I've testified before Congress and the Senate many times. And so, which it's unfathomable to me that a 23 year old recent college graduate, college swimmer at that, has to go to D.C. to sit in front of our members of Congress, again, the beating heart of the American Republic, and explain to them that men and women are different. And then to be on the other side of that table and watch as they have these super confused looks on their faces. And so I'm there testifying. Uh, One of the Democrat witnesses, um, I forget her name, but she was the president of the National Women's Law Center. In her testimony, she says that women should just learn how to lose more gracefully. I'm like, did you really just say that? And you're the president of the National Women's Law Center. What a disgrace you are. What a crazy thing and, to and say. And it was, it was hilarious because um, Representative Lee, a Democrat from Pennsylvania, uh, she was the ranking member, was supposed to be, uh, I believe, Katie Porter, who didn't show up. But anyways, ranking member Lee, uh, she starts reading her opening monologue. The first words that come out of her mouth is she says, I can't believe that I'm forced to sit here and listen to this transphobic bigotry. And really, I felt so sad when I heard that because, again, a sitting member of Congress and she resorts to name calling, uh, not dissuading from my side with facts or logic or reasoning or common sense or science. What happened to follow the science? Yeah. Right. Name calling. And so it's my turn to read uh, my testimony and I, I read it. I finish it. And I didn't even mean to say this, but it just kind of came out of my mouth. And I looked at her and I said, Representative Lee, uh, if my opening testimony makes me transphobic, then understand by your own logic, your opening monologue makes you a misogynist. Which, as you can imagine, sent the hearing into a tailspin. Uh, I don't think she has ever actually heard this word misogynist accurately used in a sentence. Um, Because about 60 seconds later, after her staff ran over to her and showed her the definition, about 60 seconds later, she raises her hand and she says, I want her words removed um, from the record on the grounds of engaging in personalities, is what she said, which Marjorie Taylor Greene was in that hearing. And so she buzzes in and she says, I would call a man posing as a woman someone who's engaging in personalities. 